Can Hello. you tell us your name and um, what you do? Okay, so my name is Sela Ajay and I teach at the National Film and Television Institute. I'm with the multimedia department, but today I joined the panel as a representative for AI for Africa. And AI for Africa, um, like I said during the discussion, is an international consortium of um, professionals, both here on the African continent and in the diaspora. And it's made up of scholars, philosophers, um, psychologists, app developers, gender activists, people who work in the policy space, lawyers, and generally professionals who tend to provide solutions to some of the problems we face in our tech spaces, you know, creating more equity and bridging the diversity gap and also uh, promoting more inclusivity within the technology spaces, yeah. Okay, and uh, thank you for that. Yes. And uh, being here today with these other panelists, uh, what has been the experience like for you? How important was this uh, conference and the panel in particular to you as a researcher who has um, an interest in Ghana's tech future? Well, I think uh, there's a lot of take-home uh, information that um, converges at a point because we are all talking about similar issues when it comes to Ghana's tech future, okay? So my co-panelists spoke about several issues which um, fell on the borderline of equality in our tech spaces. I think that was one of the... Um, central themes within the discussion and then also safety and sustainable uh, technologies that can um, preserve our well-being so in terms of you know how impactful this uh, panel discussion has been I would say that we are all you know picking up from where uh, we left off because we are discussing similar issues and it, it speaks to the importance of you know technology corporations people in the industry and academics speaking to each other to be able to find lasting solutions to the various challenges we face and like uh, we you know raised in our discussion AI and technology seems to have like a double-sided face on the outside they just project the good of AI and technology, but people are not critical about the ethics, the morality, and the safety about some of these systems. So I think it was great to have this discussion so that the conversation continues and then we can find you know, more common grounds to be able to solve all our problems.